We have been using touch typing for years, and now it's time to reconsider the way we type. Hi everyone, I'm Minri Zhang from the University of Washington, and today I'm presenting the work in collaboration with Xu Ming Jai from Google and my advisor Jacob Warbrook. Keyboard became the standard input device since 1874, and quarterly layout is a standard layout for keyboards. However, now we have devices in different shapes with different capabilities, and it's no longer realistic to carry a keyboard everywhere. So how can we communicate with those devices? Previously, uh, the research has already investigated in various ways. The first way is interface-specific solutions, such as smartwatch text entry uh, and text entry in VR environments or gesture-style web entry for smart glasses. Those interactions are usually limited to a certain device or interface and is hard to be generalized. The other category is having an external device for text entry, such as a wearable sensor or a new input mechanism, such as QWERTY system. Those solutions can deal with any interfaces, um, but they have two problems. The first one is the interaction is relatively new and it takes a lot of time to learn it. And the second one is the performance is not really high. Uh, most of them is less than 30 word per minute. So today I'm going to introduce Type Anywhere. It is a ubiquitous text entry interaction that enables the user to perform quarterly style typing on any surface with a pair of finger one device that is able to detect the finger tap actions. The device we are using is a commercial product called Tap. It uses accelerometer to detect, to detect finger taps. And the device is originally designed also as a keyboard. However, it uses a corded keyboard for single hand use. Uh, where you need to type different fingers together to input a certain character, and that can be very hard to learn. Instead, with Tap Anywhere, the user could perform typing as if there is a keyboard. Um, here is a demo, and I can, uh, I can type on a table surface or on a wall, um, and I can even type it on my laps. The UI interface for Type Anywhere contains four elements. Uh, in the evaluation study, there is a test area displaying the phrase for the user to type. And there is also a commit area and compose area. When the user performs typing, the text will first appear in the compose area. And the text in the compose area can be changed anytime because the keyboard is decoding them. However, the user could double tap space to commit the text. And the text in the commit area will be fixed and no longer be uh, decoded. And we designed several gestures for special commands. You can tap uh, different fingers together for backspace and enter. And you have this pinch style tapping uh, to select word candidates. Type Anywhere use BERT language model. It's a neural network model to decode the finger taps into corresponding text. We use the text before the typing uh, as a pre-context and the input uh, and input it with the tapped finger sequences. The model will output text in the character level. A traditional keyboard decode decoders uh, will contain two parts, the spatial model and the language model. And the spatial model's goal is to calculate the probability of each key given the tap position X and Y. And the goal of the language model is to calculate the probability of the text or the character. For example, if the previous text is G-O-O, -O, uh, and then the next character might be more likely to be D rather than A. And combining those two models score, the keyboard can decode the taps into text. However, the spatial model can be very user-specific uh, because everyone taps in different style. And in the typical way to train spatial models is to conduct heavy user studies and get their taps distribution. The more data you, you have, the better the models will be. And that's a huge amount of effort. So on the other hand, uh, type anywhere, only use a finger ID sequence without their moving coordinates. In this way, there's no need to conduct heavy user studies to, conduct, uh, to collect their tapping data uh, because the model will only transcribe your tapping finger sequence to the text. So uh, we use existing large text corpus, uh, uh, including Yelp and Amazon reviews, and uh, translated the text into their corresponding finger indices, and uh, using those finger ID sequence to train the BERT decoder. 
So if you use a standard key to finger mapping, then we can assign a finger with a unique ID. Uh, and for example, good can be converted to uh, 5884 corresponding to left index, right rings, right rings, and left middle. So um, to train a decoder with different key to finger mapping, you can also change the finger ID correspondingly. And there is no cursor uh, in type anywhere. So to correct uh, a text you already typed, we need to design a convenient way to correct errors. Uh, this is a demo. So basically to correct an error, uh, you, you will perform this interaction called type then correct. Um, after you spotting an error, you can just type the correction first and then tapping three fingers together uh, to trigger the correction function. And possible errors will be highlighted. Um, the highlight error will be used uh, to guide you which error is uh, able to correct. Here we use the added distance to locate possible errors. And you can perform pinch gestures to navigate between different errors and then tap the space gesture to commit the correction. We recruited 10 participants to evaluate type anywhere. Uh, we trained three decoders as they had three different styles of key to finger mappings. Uh, the longitudinal study was conducted throughout five consecutive days where each participant typed uh, 30 minutes uh, for practicing type anywhere. And in the first day, we also let them type on a physical keyboard uh, to get their uh, baseline performance. And at the end of the uh, study, we also asked them to perform a type anywhere typing on their laps. And each day in the, in the practice, they typed on a tabletop. This is the average performance of their typing speed. Uh, the blue line represents the table surface typing with type anywhere. The orange line represents their physical keyboard typing. And the green line is their lapse typing performance. And we can see participants got better each day. And at the end of the study, they reached over 80% of the physical keyboard typing speed, which is the fastest typing speed of published text entry studies on a non-physical keyboard to date. Here is an incorrect character level error rate. Participants achieved pretty high accuracy uh, with type anywhere. Participants reported having a bit of mental workload during typing because they need to recall their key to finger mappings. However, the physical load was low and the performance was really, really high, indicating that they were satisfied with their performance. We also ob observed a trend of their behavior change during the study. In the first, uh, when they start using the device, they typed as there is an invisible keyboard on the table, and they try to move their fingers to each key's location. However, after they practiced with the device for several days, their finger movements was less, as they realized there is no actual keyboard, and they could just tap their fingers and get the text. And some participants view this as an advantage because they did not know uh, they did not have to move fingers precisely, which saves time and space. Although Type Anywhere achieved a relatively high performance, there is a lot of work to make it practical. Uh, some future directions include uh, the input of special characters such as emoji punctuations, adding personalization to language de decoders, and another direction is to minimize the form factor of wearable device. Uh, for example, we can have a wrist-worn smartwatch instead of finger-worn uh, rings to detect taps. For more technical and uh, evaluation details, please refer to our paper. We open source the Type Anywhere system and welcome everyone to extend the idea to other applications. Thank you.